Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this super cute mini Easter gift bag that features the Welcome Easter stamp set. I love this. And this is a really quick and easy gift bag to make. All it takes is a four by six inch piece of designer series paper. So great for making multiples. You can get six of these out of a sheet of 12 by 12 or one out of a sheet of six by six. But I'm also gonna briefly show you in this tutorial how I fussy cut this little bunny using my scan and cut. I'll do a super quick tutorial there. It's one of my favorite tools to use, especially when I'm making multiples of things and I have lots of stamps that I wanna fussy cut and I don't have a coordinating die. So stay tuned for that, but let me show you how easy it is to make the sweet little gift bag. I'm gonna start with a piece of designer series paper that measures six inches by four inches. This is the flirty flamingo pattern from the Brights six inch by six inch designer series paper pack. And along the six inch side, we're gonna score this at one and three quarters, two and three quarters, four and a half, and five and a half. Then I'm gonna rotate it clockwise and score the four inch side at one inch. Next, I'm gonna fold and burnish on all the score lines. And then here's a template for you. It's really simple to put together. I'm gonna to grab my paper snips here. We're gonna remove this lower right rectangular corner. I'm also gonna come in and notch on the side tab while I do that. Like so, I'm also gonna notch right up here at the top. And then I'm gonna cut up each of the vertical score lines stopping at the horizontal score line. Now, if it's easier for you to see your score lines on the back side of the paper, go for it. And then these little one inch squares, we're just gonna come in and notch or miter those. And there is that, look how easy was that. So, so easy. I'll have a picture of this template on my detailed blog post. Now to glue this together, I'm gonna to flip this over. I'm gonna fold on the second score line from the left and apply glue to that little half inch section. Then I'm gonna fold on the first score line from the right. Now here's where our seam is. So this is the back of our gift bag. I'm gonna fold in the two little side tabs here. I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid glue on them so they stay put when we close the bottom. And then I'm gonna put glue on this front tab or front flap. Okay, so we'll fold the back flap, then the front flap, and then I like to come here with my fingers and just square up the bottom. Since it's liquid glue, we've got some time to get that into place. And then I'm gonna put my lid on my glue and stick my glue bottle in there and press from the inside. How easy is that? Now, we don't even need to do score lines for this. I'm just gonna use my middle finger and thumb on all four corners, and then I'm gonna press in with my index fingers on the side here to kind of form that little gift bag. Super easy. Now, I sized this little gift bag to hold these super cute little lint lambs, chicks, and bunnies. How cute are these? I found these at my local Target. And these chocolates go so well with the stamp set we're gonna use, Welcome Easter. You can coordinate the chocolates with the little animal that you choose. So let's just grab the little lamb and put that in this little gift bag and it's gonna fit perfectly in there. So cute. Now I'm just gonna grab an eighth of an inch circle punch and then we're gonna punch two holes at the top that we can feed our ribbon through. like so. And I'm gonna use the silver metallic edge ribbon, but first I wanna stamp the sentiment. So I'm gonna bring in a scrap piece of paper and we're gonna use the Memento Tuxedo Black ink and the sentiment Sweet Friend from the Welcome Easter stamp set. I'm gonna go ahead and punch that stamp set out with the classic label punch. And I'm gonna put the sentiment off to the right. That's gonna give us room to do a little hole punch here. like so, okay? So now what I like to do, I like to tie my ribbon off the spool, so I'll take the ribbon and feed it through the front of that little sentiment piece. And we'll just have that ready to go on our ribbon here. Then I'm gonna feed this through the front of the gift bag. Okay, 
and then through the back to the front. And now we can tie this in a bow. And there's our cute little treat bag tied off with a bow. We've got our little sentiment hanging. And now let's go ahead and get our bunny ready to go. Now here is where the scan and cut comes in. So I love to make multiples of projects, especially when they're quick and easy like this. My best tip for making multiples is to cut all the pieces of paper first, then score all the pieces, then cut all the pieces, and then assemble all the pieces. And you'll be amazed at how quickly these go together. So I stamped an entire sheet of Whisper White cardstock with the little bunny from the Welcome Easter stamp set. So I'm gonna bring in the scan and cut and show you how I'm gonna cut these out within a matter of minutes. Now there's two ways to do this. You can stamp a whole sheet and then color them all in with your Stampin' Blends, or you can stamp them, cut them out, and then color them with your Stampin' Blends. And for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna do it that way. First, I'm gonna take my standard mat for the Scan and Cut, and then I'm gonna place my Whisper White cardstock somewhere in the middle. It really doesn't matter, but you wanna make sure that you press it down really well and that you've got a pretty tacky mat to work with. All right, let me put this off to the side. All right, now here is my scan and cut screen. I'm just gonna focus on this to show you the steps that I go through. So I've turned on my scan and cut. I'm gonna tap the scan button and then direct cut. Now when I click on the image of the scan and cut here, I have it in color recognition mode. You can use black and white as well, but I typically always use the color. Again, I'm not an expert, but this is how I've gotten mine to work. I'm gonna load the mat and then click Start Stop, and it's gonna scan my stamped sheet. I'm just gonna come in and frame the image here. And click OK. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump this color up to 10, and then I'm gonna click Preview. Now from here we can zoom in and just double check that it's cutting the way we want it to do, that there's nothing, any weird cuts here. I'm gonna click OK. And then I'm gonna click this little circle button here and press the plus sign once. That's gonna give us a little bit of a white edge around our stamped image, similar to what we would get if we cut out with our dies. Then I'm gonna click OK and OK again. And now I'm gonna click Cut and it's gonna tell me it's gonna take four minutes to cut all 19 of these stamped images. So I'll click Start, Stop, and let it work its magic. And just like that, it's done. I'm gonna click OK. I'm actually gonna unload the mat. Click OK. And then I'll put the scan and cut away. And now here's the magic. So I'm gonna peel off my Whisper White layer. And I have a whole sheet of these little bunnies. Now I like to bend the mat and kind of pop them off this way. It's much better to bend the mat than to bend your paper. Here's what that looks like. How cool is that? And now look at all these adorable little bunnies we have. We've got 19 bunnies that are perfectly cut out and ready to color. So cute. Okay, so I've grabbed one of them. I've got my light flirty flamingo and my light smoky slate. And we're gonna color in this sweet little bunny. I like to use the pen tip of the light flirty flamingo and let me zoom this in. So I'm gonna take the pen tip of the light flirty flamingo and color in the inside of his ears, his little nose, and then the pads of his feet for that little extra pop of color. For the rest of him, I'm gonna use the marker end of the light smoky slate and we're gonna color in the rest of his body. How cute is he? Oh, I love that. Then I'm just gonna grab a trio of dimensionals and kind of run that down his back middle. And then we'll pop that up on the front of our little Easter mini gift bag. And there is our sweet mini Easter gift bag featuring the Welcome Easter stamp set. I love how this turned out. The finished dimensions of this little treat bag are one and three quarters, 
by three inches by one inch deep. It's super sweet, super quick and easy, and would be great for so many different occasions. I love how the Welcome Easter stamp set includes other sentiments like sweet friend and welcome to the world little one, perfect for a baby card. So very versatile stamp set, perfect for Easter, but other occasions. And you can change this up for so many different holidays and occasions. Quick and easy, great way to use up your designer series paper. I love it. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click that bell icon so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I used today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post with all project measurements, details, and a picture of the template. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com slash shop. And if you'd like a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, the starter kit is the ultimate bundle and it's a great way to get your wish list for less. And I'd love to welcome you to my team of paper pixies. You can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com join. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you'd like a complimentary copy of one of our catalogs, you can order catalogs through me at thepaperpixie.com slash catalogs. And if you give this project a try, I'd love to see what you made, so feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag paperpixie, and I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.